Welcome to a new episode of the Crossbar channel. Today's video, we're reacting to the Champions League quarterfinal first two games. We had Manchester City and Bayern Munich, also Benfica, Lisbon, Inter Milan. So, without wasting any more time, let's roll. All right, we're going to start with the big one where Manchester City destroyed Bayern Munich 3-0. I mean... City is pretty much already in semi-final. Is this Manchester City year in the Champions League? When you look at, well, the only team that can probably stop them on their side of the bracket will be... I'm not seeing Chelsea stopping them. Even if, even if Chelsea defeat Real Madrid, I don't see Chelsea stopping them. So only Real Madrid can stop them at this point in the semi-final, but I really don't see that happening. City look extremely sharp, 3-0. Bad Munich looks, to me, it looks like... Chelsea, when before Thomas Tuchel got fired, they play exactly like that. Um, no cohesion, and they look scared in the second half at the end. Uh, even if the first half was kind of tight, uh, both teams, but you can tell something was missing in the Bayern Munich side. And I think the fir first reason I can come up with is they're missing their number nine, Eric Maxim Schupomoting. I think uh, having Gnabry there, I didn't understand why Gnabry was there. In no way they could have predicted that Gnabry would have started, but. That's kind of Thomas Tuchel. He liked those pacey player to be playing up front. It started with Arvids in, in over there in Chelsea. Even, even when he was at PSG, he kind of liked having a pacey player um, as a number nine. Yeah, having Gnabry there, I don't think it was a good uh, option. I would have had Thomas Müller there because he has more experience and he can actually play like a number nine. He can make those run. Now, I know he's not as pacey as Gnabry, but... First of all, Gnabry is short. I think he's like, is it 5'7", five, 5'9"? Five, so he's not going to be a, a threat in the air. And he's not going to stick to his position. He's going to be roaming around, which will leave the central defender really, you know, free. And especially when you look at the defense that City had. As I predicted, he, I knew Guardiola was going to play and Akanji and Ake because these two are pacey. There's no way he could have afforded to have like a regular pace. And I was surprised he has John Stone in the midfield. But it made kind of sense because John Stone can... Really, he was a midfielder, but really was a second central, a fourth central defender, really, if you think about it, because Akenji and Ake were central defenders as well. So, Rodri scored a banger. Uh, nobody saw that coming, especially in his left, his wrong foot. Crazy goal. Probably one of the, well, so far, one of the best goal of the knockout round, knockout phase, I would say. But we'll see, because Ozyman hasn't played yet. And there's still a bunch of good games that we can see, and Real Madrid hasn't played yet as well. Um, De Bruyne was good. Bernardo Silva was really good. Uh, Grealish, I was impressed. Uh, not necessarily per, because of his offensive prowess, but he was defending. He was pretty box to box today. He was, you can see him finishing opportunity in the box. And next thing you know, he's in his own box defending. So Grealish, huge game today. I think I'm going to say Grealish and De Bruyne. Men of the match, but shout out to the defenders. They really locked down that Bayern Munich side. But the problem is, really, the reason why they even did it is Thomas Tuchel messed up. You can't play Gnabry. You can't have N Gnabry and Musiala at the same time be your central players because Ruben Diaz is going to be free pretty much. Like, there's no air, no threat in the air. Nobody's going to make those dirty runs. And that's what we saw. And it, by the time Thomas Muller came in, it was pretty much game over. Kingsley Coman was really good. Uh, he tried, but you can tell he had the ball on the wing. There was nobody in the six-yard box to cross the ball to. Sané was okay. Um, Kimmich was really good. Davis disappointed. I was very disappointed at Alfonso Davis. And it's been a trend. I've been noticing he's kind of declining. I'm not, I'm not going to say he's declining, but he's not progressing. He hasn't progressed in a long time. It's been That's the second year in a row I've noticed he's kind of stagnating. Um, I don't know what's going on with him, but he's not as good as he used to be. I think he still has the pace, so that's good, and he still has the physical ability. But on the ball, he loses. I feel like he's a little scared when he has the ball, and on one-on-one, -on -one, he's not that good. He's really good at recovering the ball when there's a counter attack and you have to run back. He's really good at it, but one-on-one uh, -on -one with a, a winger, he always kind of struggles a bit. Uh, Opamecano was terrible. I would say the worst player today was Opamecano in Bayern Munich. He probably he literally gifted them a goal or two, really. And Somer was good, but not... Actually, he was great on the, down the stretch, down the uh, down the line. Because City could have easily scored three more goals if it wasn't for Somer. But that second goal of Bernardo Silva, I think his positioning was not the best. 
Because it's pretty centrally. I don't know how that goal went in. Now, maybe it was a super header from Bernardo Silva, but I thought it was on him. I don't know why he couldn't. I think it was, it was poor positioning by him. But he made up for that. Bunch of saves down the stretch. He easily, clearly saved like three great opportunities for uh, Manchester City. So, what does that mean for the rest of this tie? I think City is pretty much in the semi-final. There's no way in hell Thomas Tuchel can turn this thing around. I think he's probably going to play Sadio Mane sooner and have Thomas Müller. If Supermoting is not there, you got to have Thomas Müller as a number nine. You can't have Gnabry. Gnabry hasn't played that much this year anyways. And you can't have him as a number nine, period. He's not, he's not tall enough. He doesn't know the, the number nine position, really, to be honest. I would have seen Thomas Müller easily. Anyone would have put Thomas Müller. But that's Thomas Tuchel. He's too creative. Sometimes he's too creative for his own good. And that's I think that's what happened today. But anyway, in any case, Man City, 3 near Bayern Munich. What a huge victory for the citizen. They are pretty much in the semifinal now.